So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions. And you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to episode 3 of Zero to Team Year Mbappe in 10 days. So, we are two days in um, and we should therefore be on about 1.2 million if we're to be uh, on course. But right now we're, we are slacking a little bit behind but we've got some investments. We've got a lot of money to work with. We should only be having really like a snowball effect where you make more and more and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And therefore we won't struggle as so much to hit the 600k daily target. So, uh, yeah, just show you the position on the account. Right now we got a 472k liquid. Uh, we've got investments of Canales. Uh, the idea behind this is that the um, midfielder pack coming out today should rise his price. On top of that, we've got an absolutely stacked tramps list of special deals, shadow deals, and uh, yeah, everything in between. So, the account is looking pretty good. Uh, we're thriving pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, go and start day off with a bit of special shadow trading. Trading, and we got some absolutely insane deals, including a 30k plus deal. So let's walk you through it. Ramos bought for 100, going for 137k right now. So 30k profit right there. Uh, then we got Hummels, got for 40, gonna sell for 47, little 5k profit. Navas got for 44, gonna sell for 52. That's another 5k profit. Uh, who else is quite interesting? Uh, Endor Bele bought for 23, going for 27. That's not that interesting. Cloud Marie scored for 30, going to sell for 37. Atal for 25, going to sell for 32. Zambo is really good. Got this one for 21. Got a few, basically, I got one with a shadow. And then I did a little bit of looking through his price, and he actually fluctuates quite a lot. So this one for 21, we're going to be a sell for 26. This one also for 20k, we're going to sell for 26. And this one right here for 21, we're going to sell for 29. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Going to get all them listed. Sitting just below 1.2 million. And, uh, again, all these deals got me just over 80k. I've also been doing a little bit of shadow trading in the background. So, currently sitting on 93. So, I might be able to keep doing special card trading. Um, but, yeah, it's looking really, really good at the moment. And shadow deals. I haven't really... I only had, like, 100k to work with. But, uh, yeah, got some decent, decent little deals. So, we're going to start here with Mr. Joshua Kimmich. Got at 52. He's going to get listed up for 62. Uh, so, about an 8k profit after tax. Sorry, 7k profit after tax. And up McCartney got for 26. Going to be thrown up there for 31. So, that's a nice little 4k profit. Or just under after tax. But, yeah, just a little bit of shadow trading right now. Just while we wait for some more for you guys. We've got a few shadow deals. Uh, some really decent ones as well. So, Canales bought at 2.5. Going to sell for 6. Davies bought at 4 and 2.3. Both going up for 4.9. And Valverde got at 1.8. Going to sell for 4.7. Uh, one more just here to show you guys is that um, our, one of our best deals of the whole road to glory so far. Ramos has sold on. Bought for 100, sold at 137. And there's a Zambo sold on. And there's a Habits I bought off for, uh, I think, 4.3, sold at 5.5. So. Nice deal right here. We got ourselves a De Jong at 110. We're going to flip him up for 130. That's a 20k difference with about a 6.5k tax and a 13.5k profit after tax. So I've been doing a bunch more special card trading. And uh, yeah, we've got some deals. Some things okay. Uh, we got ourselves a nice little Florenzi here at uh, 21. This is going to go off 26. To wrap, we got for 30. We got another one there for 12. Another one there for 13. Another one there for 13. All going to get thrown up at 16. Said Juice, 12 to 50. Going to get us sold up for 18.5. And uh, Dump Freeze. I decided to apparently not write the price of him. But uh, I think he's going for about 26. Bought for 20. So, yeah, not too bad. Uh, again, just over 1.2 million. So, just can keep special card trading. Just sleeper shadow trading, but just showing you guys it's still working really well. Uh, Hen Doggy Dog got at 4.9, going to sell at 7.9. Uh, Borrelia's bought for 5 and 4.5, both going up for 6.5. Uh, and then loads of Valverde's bought for 1.4, 4k and 3.1, all going up there for 4.9. So, yeah, not bad. Shadow trading still making me good money, as, as boring as it is. Some nice little investments, including all-starring right here with a Kiese. Good him at 70, going to sell at 87. Florenzi got for 17, going to sell for 26. St. Juice got 14.5, going to sell for 18.5. Schultz got a 20, going to sell at 26. Um, and Milinkovic Savage got a 24, going to sell at 32. So loads of really, really good profits at 1.3. Let's uh, scan with the trading. So we got ourselves some really nice shadow deals. Running theme. Amarvi, right? Amarvi sells for 40k. Okay, we're going for 22.5. Florenzi sells at 26, Tiago Silva sells at 38, Diawara sells at 17, St. Juice sells at 18.5, and all of these Ducimani's going to sell just sub 20, so not bad, another like 40k right there. 
Get us going to get 1.8 by the end of the day to be on course. And we're, we're slowly, slowly chasing it. So we've gone to got ourselves some boring, boring shadow deals. But uh, we've been working with some of the more expensive cards. So just utilizing us having a higher budget. But also some enough players to go and now get away some shadow trading. But Navis is bought at 5.9. And uh, 6k going to sell on for 7.5. The Witch we bought for 4.8. And uh, 5 going to go for 7.2. Nuno Mendes going up there for 5. And uh, yeah, a few Valverde's, Henderson's. Henderson's going up for 7, bought at 4.9 and uh, 5k. But yeah, what we're going to do right now is just one last bit of special shadow trading. And then what we'll do is uh, start prepping some investments before 6pm. Do some special uh, deals just before 6pm. And then what we're going to do is going to start investing. Uh, going to pick ourselves up trend right here for 75. Going to send them at 85, so a nice little 6k profit there. Vidal bought at 45, can be sold on for 52, so a nice little 4.5k profit right there. Really nice on Pal Torres right here, bought him for 14. Going to go and flip him for 21.50, so... Yep, nice 7k difference, 6k profit after tax. Uh, night, again, just nice deal here on uh, Munier. Got at 1250, going to flip for 17. Claude Maurice, 32, going to get flipped up there for 37. 3k profit there. And then two Chimani's, are both going to get sold up for 1950. Making ourselves a nice little 2.5k profit there, and I think like a 1.5 there. So not bad, putting us on about 1.4 million. Now what we're going to do is do a little bit of investing. Now how I'm deciding who I'm investing in, basically I'm picking cards who are between 82 to 84 rated. Then I'm saying how they done on Saturday because we should be getting the same as we see on Saturday today. So I'm finding players that did well on Saturday. And I'm either going to try and win them with good bids or I'm just going to go and try and snipe a few or just mass buy a few. The reason I've got to do this is because I'm on Xbox and it's very, very hard to mass invest high values or high budgets in a short amount of time. Because as you guys on Xbox will know, there's just not the supply to meet the demand. Uh, so you've got to kind of do a lot more pre-investing when it comes to Xbox. So do a bunch of pre-investing. I'll show you why I managed to buy and uh, then yeah, roll on 6pm. So just ahead of 6pm, we have decided to invest a bunch of our coins. Got loads and loads of cards been winning on bids right here. A bunch of the goalkeepers that did pretty well. Got like a Locatelli, Campanara, and a few other cards. On top of that, we've also gone and bought loads of cards. I think we're about 60, 70 cards unassigned right now. But yeah, a bunch of Canales I bought last night. One five, a few Rakitic's, a bunch of Bonus, and uh, and so on. So we'll see how it goes at 6pm. I like 83 rating weeks because it's not in the current team of the week and people just use 83 rating team of the weeks. There we go. Not amazing for the investments, but I mean, something that could have always happened. The 83 high chem should still do pretty well, though. I didn't buy much at 6 p.m., but um, what I did buy was uh, obviously those Laniers. Bought them at 15.5. If you're wondering why, why did I go and buy this guy? It's because there's no 83 rated team of the weeks, and this needs two. This has an 83 rated squad in two team of the weeks. People are pretty brain dead, and they'll go and buy 83 team of the weeks, even though. I can show you right now that actually 84s are going to be cheaper. In fact, an 84 in the exact same position is 19.5. And he's the exact same rate. It's, you know, it's crazy. He's actually not that cheap, Munia. But, um, but yeah, just due to them being, uh, due to them being the exact same rating as they need. So not bad. Generally, from the rash investing at 6pm, probably going to make nothing more than like 40k. But uh, the pre-investments and stuff like Canales bought them at 1.6. I should be able to sell them for about 2.8. 2829, I think. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll make like 100k off of today's 6 pm content. So, actually, what I'm doing right now is going to do some special trading. But what's happened is because these uh, shadow cards aren't, sorry, because the 83s and 84s aren't needed for the SBC today, you're having a lot of people panic selling fodder. And a lot of the fodder are actually really good with shadows on. So, I'm seeing a lot of panic sales in like PSAs and Brennans. But what's actually going to happen is these cards with a shadow are still going to be worth something, but they're being panic sold because people bought them as fodder and now they're panic selling them. Which is actually leaving there to be a really good deal. So what I'm doing right now is just see a lot of these guys, you know, Kiese, Barrelas, Abits, and Navas are all SBC fodder. And they're all popping up very consistently for very cheap because people are just panic selling the, um, basically panic selling their fodder. And therefore we're just picking the deals up. We have gold shadow trading and special shadow trading. Got some pretty decent deals as well. Uh, featuring a Kiese for 74. This car's going to go up for an 85. We've got a Vitzel for 27. This car's going up for 33. Got a... A few of these I'm not too sure on, I'm not gonna lie. Got a sound at 14, gonna throw it for 18. Canate for 16, gonna throw it for like 22. This Kiese goes up for 30. This Diop, I think, goes up for 26, 27. Robertson, I'm pretty sure his base price is 40, so I think it's about 44 card, if I'm not wrong. So, not bad. And then on top of that, got loads and loads of really good shadow deals. Uh, Navas sold at 7.2 earlier, bought at 5. Uh, Sabitza sells at 5.2. Guerrero sells at 6. Kuna sells at 7. Uh, what else we got? Just loads and loads and loads of shadow deals. Still selling on a few of these uh, cards that have flopped. But yeah, once I'm out of them, we're, we're looking good. We're through all steamrolling with the shadow trade. So we've absolutely stacked the living daylights out gold shadow deals. It's just so easy at the moment because there seems to be just, I don't know, a lot of selling on the market. So what we're doing is just picking them all up. 
Just so then I don't have to do any gold shadow trading tomorrow, whilst I guess it's harder to get deals, I can just hard stack them now. There you go, camera Vinga, 3.5k. Uh, what we're going to do right now is a bit of special card trading now, but we've got so, so many deals uh, stacked up for the shadow trading, so... Let's go do some special card trading and show you. So, we have basically picked up our last deals, which you guys are going to see on video for the day. So, done a bunch of special card trading. Uh, let's walk you through a few prices. Bits are bought at 25, going to be sold at 33. Navas bought at 24, going to be sold at 31. So, Bits are bought at 15, going to be sold at 19. Uh, Grab and Batch bought for 22, going to sell for 27. Trap, going to sell for 16. Deal, going to sell for 26. Forenzi, going to sell for 26. Nice deal there. Um, Sal, going to sell at 18. Cup are going to sell at 15. Up Makana going to be sold at 31. Uh, and Marby is going to be sold at 39. And then we've got loads and loads of gold shadow deals. And then a few repeat deals on the things we just showed you. So, yeah, we are ending the day off on about 1.6 million. The champs list is, well, full to the brim of either special cards or shadow cards. My unassigned is filled with special cards or shadow cards. So, basically, we've got a lot of things to go and sell on over the next day. Basically, I can just have a continu continuous. Uh, a flow of 100 cards selling on and do special card trading in the background. So loads and loads of coins going into tomorrow. You know, as soon as you get like 2 million is when you can basically start filling your whole transfer up with special deals rather than gold deals. And at that point, it's looking a little bit more, you know, a little bit more profitable as such. So, yep, looking really good. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, I don't think anything too crazy to pre-invest in tomorrow. I think tomorrow we've got a Dest SBC and I don't think there's any investments I'm planning to go for that. Uh, maybe I'll do some rash investments. We do have a generic SBC tomorrow, which will be good. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode. I'll also, by the way, do a bit of shadow trading off stream, off the, sorry, video. So I'll probably have 1.7 mil for the day, which means we're pretty much on track for the Mbappe at the moment. 